all welcome to another episode of Anna and Nana. I'm Nana and, and I'm Anne. And today we have an interesting topic. How mm -hmm. do we say this nicely and please alert people? Today we are talking about wedding meetings. Now we are not talking about the people that get married. We are not we're just looking at the technicalities of what they call wedding don't. meetings. It's only the beginning. Please don't sweat it. It's only the beginning. If you've recently gotten married and you have something to, to, to share, don't forget to share some of the issues you had in your preparation of weddings. We are trying to make sure we curb the emotions because earlier <laughs> when we were talking about <laughs> this whole thing of wedding meetings, we noticed we have Oof. very personal experiences mm. where we've been humiliated, mm -hmm. where we've been put on the spot. Mm -hmm. So yes, we are discussing wedding meetings. Today. Recently, I, um, I was involved in a I wouldn't even say a wedding preparation thing, mm -hmm. but all I know is that there was pressure to contribute to this wedding. Pressure where people have expectations that you must give them because they're getting married and they're your friends and they expect a certain amount of money from you. Whether you are ready to give it or not, you must give it. So there's a new theme of finding people, finding people. F I think that's even that. new. In Fi every wedding meeting, mm -hmm. that's how they get money. What I want to understand is I have agreed to come to your wedding meeting, and I have. And I want the best for you. And I'm, I want to be involved in the preparations. I want it to be amazing. I want it to be a day to remember. But now... <laughs> You're but angry. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're really mad. No, I am I'm voicing it and I'm doing it like the lady that to I am, in so that my father paid a lot of money for. Mm. So I'm your friend. And then I get an a, 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 a notification you're getting married. Then I'm given a date for the first wedding meeting. So I don't I don't come because I have a commitment somewhere else. Then the second one comes and I still don't make it. The third one is not so polite. Now they're not amused. You didn't come. So they want you to commit yourself to a certain amount of money. Normally they say for those of you who made it, it was amazing. We did good things. But let us share the budget. <laughs> and on the budget, first of all, before we even go any further. Let us budget, share the budget. There's the gown. Mm -hmm. There's the groom's suit. Mm. The rings, the napkins that took in the mm -hmm. groom's nose. There's the boxer, the new boxer for that day. Mm. The new bra. Every, I'm telling you, a toothpicks for that word, everything is put. Sometimes mm. I really want to understand, you who has threatened to marry your friend, Z, <laughs> you, you are a relative, you, someone's daughter, how prepared are you? Uh, no, you this is my problem. This married. is my problem. Forget the wedding. Uh, In fact, we have skipped a stage. Now, even the Kwanjuras, we must contribute to the introduction ceremony. I'm confused. Are we all going to partake of your bride? Maybe what I want to ask is... No, no, no. Even the culture say, like the culture thing here, th once it's done, they give you a certificate, right? So you're legally married, as far as I know. Mm -hmm. Am I wrong? No, you're not. So now you want me to That's also... Uh -huh. That's how mine was called. Akali, you, you are confused. Mm, just now I think... Just no, no, you are confused. I accused you someone paid of your own me. bride price. I, no, I, I accused someone of marrying me wrong enough for the whole world to believe it and him to believe it. For me, I believe it. <laughs> then later, when I realized, eh, when you are married, it's when a man gets up on his two feet, goes, pay, pays your bride price, and then marries you, and then takes you to church. None of that had happened. I don't want to go into the details. I was married, but yeah. You know how you end up paying some of you for your self? It's sad. Don't look at me like that. I'm an empowered women scouts. We were. I am empowered. I'm empowered. I, I, I'm saying this for anyone at home who is in a situation that they cannot live because of that what? Oh, you're near getting married and you're nearly tempted to contribute to that dower. You feel the way I'm feeling. <laughs> and you know when you love someone, all you want to do is make, it, make them able to pay for you. But this is where you, now I my, my, my pet peeve is forcing your yeah, friends, no your family to contribute to your marriage. And I say this with utmost respect. In fact, if someone was to tell me today, I'm going to marry so and so and leave it at that. Allow me to look within myself and say, you know what? 
I think that's awesome. I will contribute A, B, C, and D. But today's world, people are marrying each other, and then they tell you they expect like 500K from you. For the Kwanjura, forget the wedding. The wedding will come next year when you've had a breather. Like, it's a collective effort Can for all of you. Up? Can I open up to you? I'm not sure I'll see you in the same light ever again, no, but... No, okay. no, people call me, and they, they, ask, they know what they want. <laughs> Someone calls you, and they're like, and for you, for you, special, for you, for you, you've already decided you're going to come and host... You're going to host that. Now, see, personally, I charge, let me say, I charge 8 million shillings to host a wedding. You're rich, eh? No, not even. How many weddings do have I hosted? How many weddings have you had that I've hosted? Do you know I charge that ridiculous money? So that you think twice. You're like, why don't I get with, uh, this 8 million and feed my whole family? No, <laughs> just <laughs> lay the foundation for your house. Man, and then they tell you, no, 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 we'll give you 150k. And I'm like, give it to your favorite uncle who talks a road. Let them hold the <laughs> microphone. You'll have given them fuel back home. And that's what they will do. As anyway, ultimately, me, I'm so glad we are talking about this because I wanted to talk to my friends, my family. It's too much. People expect things from you. First of all, do I know you? You get people calling you to come to their wedding. You, don't, you didn't even know they were dating, but they're calling you for <laughs> a wedding. And then they are sure how much they want. They're like, for you, Anna, you will buy the cake. <laughs> I don't like cake. I don't even eat cake. Someone decides what they want you to pay. I love you guys. I want to show up at an event. There are events where I go to. It's so sad, guys. I go to an event, and it's someone's wedding, and you end up as if you are the guest of honor. <laughs> like, you don't know when to come. If you come early, people will start selfies before the event starts. Then mm. you, you are, like, holding your own event in a corner. If you come late, you come and people stand up as if the guest of honor, the <laughs> owner of the event has... <laughs> just to know it's a dilemma with you. And then when it's wedding meetings, you come in and people are contributing like they want school fees for their firstborn. Hey, you people need to relax. This wedding thing is for you two people. How come we do not hear about people doing business meetings? Mm. Not business meeting of you meeting someone for business. No, 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 no. You doing a business contribution meeting. Yes where you call your friends and relatives to come and contribute for a business. You give them a pitch, and you're like, you will not believe it, I've researched goats. Goats, they goats. can give birth. Too <laughs> much. So I've, I've researched, I need this much. I've never heard of something like that. Any constructive, of let's sit down and contribute money. The same energy you people use when you're commanding people to come for your wedding meetings, may you use that same energy. And when you're going to at attend people's wedding meetings, use that same energy to attend barriers. Mm. to go and visit people when they've given birth, to, uh, to yeah, take care of your sick relatives, more communal yes. more activities, because a child is raised by a society. But, but a woman is slept mm. with by one man. At the end of the day, you make someone pay, and they believe they have a slight right to your woman. Yeah. And they go another woman, and you think, what is this woman doing? She knows. That man paid five million. You have not finished their dowry. <laughs> Why will they not go <laughs> and pay the guy in the kind? It's very now, serious. This is where, okay, me, I actually have a pet peeve, severe pet peeve, is people expecting a certain amount from you. So you say to them, I'll give 100K, and then you see the expression on their faces. You say, what? Then they say, hey, but for you, Nana, we expected a million. Yes, if I have paid, give me my money's worth. Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't, want, I don't want mediocre entertainment. I want to see fireworks. I want to see cake cutting. Like, I want to see strippers dancing on top of a cake. So if, if you pay 10 yeah, million, if I come, pay 10 million. He's not, she's not coming to mine. She's not. You are not. No, do you it really it think I want to come watch you get married? If I'm paying, you will collapse if I don't invite you. Let's even get this off screen. Um, I'm sorry. Like, number Who one is, issue. Which camera Naza. am I looking into for reaction shots? <laughs> You're so useless. <laughs> oh. <coughs> Something else I wanted to ask, actually ask Nana. Mm. What do you think, if someone is starting a wedding, mm. a wedding meeting where they're planning a wedding, or you, f you look at this gorgeous woman and you're like, I can do not score a goalkeeper, and then you say you are the one, I'm going to marry you. What are the first things you should think about before you stress the whole nation about wedding meetings? What are you thinking? What's mm. the right mindset? Because you've been there twice. <laughs> Keep throwing it in just like a spice. <laughs> <coughs> I've been there once. Actually, I married myself there once. Continue answer. Don't be angry. This is a show. People are looking at you. This is Africa. Africa arise. I was 
<laughs> anyway, no, I'll be honest and I'll be like literally the first thing that comes to my mind. First of all, if someone is getting married and if that person getting married is me, now I'm older and wiser. Eh? Two years down the aisle, two times down the aisle, and I'll ask myself one thing. Is this person important to me? What do we have to contribute to each other's well-being and future? Do I need to put that person under pressure? Because sometimes it's about the performance on that wedding day. And then after the performance, it's like people don't want to know about that person. So do I really want to be with that person? And what is our vision? What is our shared vision together? And what can we do to celebrate each other? without breaking the bank. I don't think at, um, I'm at an age anymore where I, I need the trumpets and I need the, 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 the my, uh, mm, mm, my parents' approval, mm. my, my relatives' approval. Mm. I don't, mm. um, I, don't <laughs> I don't need people to say to me, eh, your wedding was off the chain. I drank so much I passed out. Right now I just want, <laughs> I just want people to say to me, okay, I think it's amazing for you. So we do that. Now, based off that is where I would be like Anne or Mara. Like, pick people that matter to me. People I can cater that for. Yes, but people, like, you, you know, know the like people that yeah. matter to you. Like, stop trying to invite the whole village, town, their neighbors and their neighbors. In fact, people are inviting people from Juba they know nothing about. But because someone said that, you know, someone knows someone from Juba, so they're coming with 20 people. What I'm mm. saying is that let's manage our situations. Uh, you know, maybe the African World celebration back in the day was dope because people would provide matoke, there would they be would free alcohol, the and village would, like, you? literally, it would not be uh, a budget you put together to buy the bride's bra. Okay? It would be. Why can't you be serious? I'm paying attention and then I had bra. Forgive your friend. I'm so human. Mm hmm. There's something you said that uh, you need to look at your partner and then know what you want to sacrifice for them. Mm. Uh, I want to point out something though. In early relationships, when you've just met someone and you're going to get married, to, that's how I ended up paying my dowry. You know, of you understand the financial situation of the person you're with mm -hmm. and you badly want to be with them yeah. and you see who they are capable of being. So you choose to make this event affordable for them mm -hmm. and you move. Mm. See, that's no, this is where we lie to ourselves. Mm -hmm. Imbu, you see who they are capable of being. I think we project onto people what we want them to, to be. be. That's Let true. me tell you something. Anyone who is capable of becoming someone, you can tell by talking to them, by understanding them. Let me tell you, we as women are notorious, notorious for projecting onto people what we want. So I wish I'd seen you long ago. So, <laughs> <laughs> so you see a guy, you can see the signs, they keep coming. They like to keep, they leave responsibility to you. You are the fixer. You are the one who does all these us. things. Yes, I know and I do, but I'm learning that you must give control up. So you have to pretend uh, you yeah. cannot do certain things. No, it's not about pretending. It's accepting when someone says, baby, I'll take care of that. And I'll take care of this. It is a man stepping up and saying, I don't, I might not have this, but I'm going to take care of this. If he never does, and you're projecting on him because Musimani doesn't have A, B, C, and D, so he won't do, so I must do. Really? Every human being is capable of helping in which way they can. And they do that by saying, allow me. So when you send us your messages and tell us that you're nearly getting married, mm -hmm. allow us to decide how we want to be involved in that relationship exactly. between you and your partner. Because it's you and your... Mm. Sometimes man, they're marrying a hot guy, it's are self-paying, you go to a wedding, they you don't even eat food. Uh -uh. Somehow no, 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 the audience us. is filled with excess <laughs> who have contributed to the wedding. Mm -hmm. Both men and women, excess who have come to make sure the event why, finally why? happens. How do you even make your wedding list, uh, guest list? I don't get it. How do you make your wedding guest list? I like don't who know. Who is there? But and also, no, the wedding guest, uh, for, forget the wedding guest list. Let's talk the budget, where you are like, Nana is cars, Anne is MC, uh, bridal gown from Crow is the closet. Kwegamba, what you are doing is simply... <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Makeup is fear makeup. 
Mm? Mm. So now you've decided you are fully covered. But you have forgotten that people are not obligated to be part of your big day. They're not obligated to even come. Someone doesn't come for your wedding and suddenly it's a battle. Yeah, hey, you didn't turn up. Yes, I didn't turn up. I had other obligations. Maybe I really wish the best. You someone because you need to explain yourself. Exactly. So, guys. so let's be real with this. Let's just basically have weddings we can afford. Let's do things and not put pressure on our friends. Let's celebrate events and not expect things from people that we didn't earn. Me, or if I contributed something and I don't give it, unless you're giving me a particular pleasure I'm receiving from your <laughs> partner, don't go around threatening me with reminders <laughs> of, if you can don't not fulfill your pledge, go away, please. Some of us have loans in the banks we forgot. You're reminding me of a pledge, of a mm -hmm. man that you chose to marry yourself. But you people are not even yeah. risk takers. Some of us go through doors that say stuff only. Yeah. Eh, and you're spending left, right, center. Okay, anyway, we have quarreled. Today, Anna and Nan were quarreling about wedding meetings. If you have anything, take it up with us in the comments. She's Nana Kaga on YouTube. Subscribe so you hear all about this. And she's Anne Kansime. Subscribe and actually hear all about this. Mm -hmm. And, and when you ask your questions, we are sure to answer. No, you like answering comments. Me, I don't. You don't. I'll mm. answer for her. Anyway, so... Anna and Nana, mm -hmm. and we shall Bye. see you again. 